fish fry season starts today, and as you visit your local fish fry, you will probably see pierogies. As John Shumway found out, pierogies have their own patron saint. Within these walls and through the history of the Catholic Church, their faces reach through time in statues and stained glass, the faces of the saints. They're patron saints for everything, so I'm not surprised there's a patron saint of pierogi. There he is with a window of his own at St. Stanislaus in the Strip District. The patron saint of pierogi is St. Hyacinth. Who knew? Well, you would certainly think the pinchers at Pierogies Plus in the Rocks would know about St. Hyacinth. No. I mean, this is where the dough is laid out, cut, stuffed with anything imaginable that will fit, from potato cheese to onions, sausage, apple pie. And while the spirit of St. Hyacinth might be here, the Dominican priest is a virtual unknown. Are you pulling my leg? Absolutely yeah. not. Joining the fish, mac and cheese, and halushka at fish fries are pierogies. But folks serving them are generally clueless about how pierogies got a saint. I don't know. That's a good question. Father Vaskov says St. Hyacinth arrived in a famine-ridden Polish town in the 13th century. And so he knelt down with the people of the town and prayed that uh, the crop would be restored and the next day the wheat started to sprout. And so the people of the town fed him pierogi as a thanksgiving to God for the gift of this new crop. And there's another story where he brought pierogi to another famine-starved town. In our search today, we found only one person who knew the patron saint of pierogies is... Hyacinth. And how did you know that? I Googled it. But as you scoop up this saintly dish this Lenten season, keep in mind, St. Hyacinth is a two-timer. Most depictions of him, he's not even holding pierogies. And that comes from a town that was besieged by war. And he came in to take care of the Eucharist and the statue of Our Lady, which no one person could carry themselves, and yet he was able to carry it out himself. So he became the patron saint of weightlifters. And carbo loading was born. Maybe. John Shumway, KDKA News.